What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 6 of our Python with PyQt for creating GUIs tutorial video series. In this video we're going to be talking about toolbars. So the menu bar is like the main menu kind of bar up here. But then you've got toolbars. Now I don't really know if this has a toolbar. But generally the toolbar is below the main menu. And it's a little bigger. And generally the objects on the toolbar, not always, but generally, will have like little icons to them too. So it's a little thicker, a little easier to read. Uh, and generally, it's most applicable to that page that you're on. So, with that in mind, should we add the toolbar where we added the main menu, or should we add the toolbar on the page specific to it? We should add it to the page that's specific to it. So, going to home, um, we're just going to come underneath basically the button.move, and this is where we'll add our toolbar. So, <clears throat> adding a toolbar, I think, is actually a little easier than doing the menu objects because menus generally are like basically a menu is a drop down, and then you've got options, and you might even have more options like here, like recent files and stuff like that. So, how might we uh, do a toolbar? So, after the, the quit button, uh, let's see, that'll be fine. It should be out of the way at 100 pixels. Maybe not. I think it'll be fine. Anyway, button move, that's fine. So, now we're going to have. Um, we're just going to call extract action again here. And we're going to say that equals qt GUI dot q app, oops, q action rather. And then qt GUI dot q icon. And this is basically how we can add an icon to the toolbar. Now, if you don't want to add an icon, that's totally fine. I'll show you guys what you can do there. Basically, you just uh, would simply. Um, put the text here that you wanted pretty much but we'll, we'll actually end up doing one without the icon just in case anybody cares uh, later on so now you with the icon because basically what's happening here is you've got some parameters okay so you've got the first parameter is going to be the icon the second parameter is going to be what is it like the hover text basically going to be and then the third is just the obligatory self so the icon that we want to use um, I think the icon that we should use since we're using this choppa uh, stuff is let's bring this over here and we're gonna go to python program.net and then we're gonna go uh, slash static slash uh, images slash two to chop png there it is and we get this little little cute baby right here and then we'll just click and drag that into our the same directory that we're in right now so click drag boom now we've got two to chop png it's a good size, 55 by 48. That's a good um, toolbar size. And now we'll just add in here to the choppa.png. The next parameter is kind of like the hover. And this one will just say flee the scene. And then our obligatory self. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to say extract action dot trigger dot connect. What are we connecting it to? self.close application we are no parameters there if you put the parameters there just for the record I know someone is gonna be like man every time I run my application it just closes immediately here's why <laughs> All right, you put the little parameters there what's gonna do is as it loads this into memory uh, it's gonna run this immediately so uh, well we'll leave this here for now and then I'll show you what I mean in a little bit so now self.close application extract action that's fine. Now we need to create, just like before, this is our toolbar kind of choice, but now we need to create the toolbar. So we're going to say uh, self.toolbar equals self.addToolbar. And we probably should camel case this. Uh, camel casing. Self.addToolbar. And then we're going to say, what what is this toolbar that we're going to add? We're going to add extraction. And then we're going to say self.toolbar uh, dot add action. And this will be extract action. We actually might not get away with this tool. Let's run it and see what happens. Oh, we got away with it. Good stuff. So here we have our little uh, general yelling at us that we need to get to the chopper. So we click on him. Sure enough, we were able to exit no problem now let's add these parameters really quick let's run that real quick and you can see that nothing's happening you can't even see the window pop up it closes so fast so we can hit run module nothing happens but we're getting spanned woso custom 
So again, that's why it's happening for anyone who is like, I don't understand, it's not popping up. That's why. So <laughs> anyway, that is that. We've got our toolbar, we've got our cool little baby now, and uh, we can extract the application. The other thing I, I just wanna show you really quick, I think it's pretty cool, is, whoops, let's run this one more time. Uh, is this toolbar, you can see it comes with these little things, and oh my goodness, we can move it around, oh, hot diggity, obviously our quit button is in the way, but that's okay, we can move it down here, oh my goodness, we can move it over here, holy smokes, and then also, if we hover it, you get that little text there, it's, maybe, if you're not watching this on full screen, it might be hard to read it, but you should have the text too, it should say, flee the scene. So pretty cool, actually, that we not only do we have this toolbar, but we can move it around, and it's got this cool little animation when we do, and yes, that is pretty awesome. Oh, and we can also move it off the window entirely. Look at us. We'll just put it over here, and we quit it with the baby. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's actually pretty impressive that we're able to create that toolbar with like four lines of freaking code okay and most of that is just defining like the stuff that we want that toolbar is a lot more code than that so anyway pretty cool thank those QT guys and uh, if you have any questions or comments up to this point please feel free to leave them below otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and subscriptions and until next time